I had to start the live over because uh, my wife called me. It, it, it messed the thing up. If y'all can hear me, let me know. That's all I need to know. I just need to know if y'all able to hear me or not. Uh, but again, if y'all can hear me, let me know. I need to know because ain't no point of me talking if y'all can't hear me. So I just need to make sure y'all can hear me. All right, bet. So look, long story short, this is all I was saying. Y'all share the live, y'all like it up, share the video, you know what I'm saying? The Lord said that his word, it shall come to pass. It truly shall come to pass in his perfect timing, if you believe. And again, what's the question? The question is, do you believe? Do you have faith? Do you have trust? In the most high God. Do you trust. Do you believe that God can bless you. Do you believe that God is going to bless you. Do you believe that God is going to overflow you. Do you believe that God is going to provide for you. In Jesus name. Do you believe God. That's the question. Do you honestly believe God the way that you say you do. Or are you just saying it. Believe. Do you believe God. I can bless you exceedingly abundantly above all that you can ask or think. That's the that's the real question. Do you believe God? Do you believe that God can do all these things that He said that He can do? It says, Lord, I believe, but help me with my unbelief. If you got a hard time believing, you need to say, God, help me with my unbelief. That's what you need to say. You need to tell the Father, Lord, help me with my unbelief. That's what you need to tell Him. Fine. God will never leave you out high to, to be high and dry. God will never leave you to be, you know, just helpless. God is a good father. If you're calling on his name for help, he will help and respond to your situation. It may not be in the way that you think or want, or you want to right then and there, but God will respond and God will help you in whatever situation that you're in. You need to trust. And God, you need to trust in the Lord. You need to trust in Jehovah Jireh. You need to trust. You need to be able to trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. You got to be able to trust God perfect timing. Like, for example, I had to start the video over. I was flowing. And I had to start the video over. But it's okay, though. Because I know that as I start the video over, it's some more words that God want me to speak. It's some more words that God want me to speak. Lord, we come up against every evil spirit trying to attack your people. We bind it. We call it forth. We break it. We shatter it. We dismantle it. We uproot it and remove it in Jesus' name. We come up against that spirit of addiction, smoking weed, drugs, popping pills. We come up against all that in Jesus' name. We send it to the pit. We send it to the dry place to wander. Your name, Lord Jesus. We break it. We break the stony heart and the Lord, I ask that you get a people heart of flesh, not a heart of stone. Lord, I pray in your name, Lord Jesus, that you would bless your people how you see fit. Touch your people's lives, Lord God. Let me tell you something. Today, my birthday, I turned 26 years old today. It ain't nothing but a blessing from God to be able to see another year. People don't even realize when you wake up, that's the best blessing you can get. Not money, not material stuff. Waking up by your, just simply waking up. That's a blessing from God. That's a blessing from God. Because let me tell you something. There's not a lot of people that wake up every day. Did you know somebody dies every single day? And a lot of them people, they're going to hell, not heaven. They're not making it to heaven. They're going to hell and they're burning. The Lord gave me my YouTube channel. He, he blessed me with a YouTube channel when I was 22 years old, turning 23. That's a big responsibility. And, I, and let me tell you something. This is what I told the Lord. See, look at the Lord. It's light shining down. The Lord blessed me with a YouTube channel when I was 22 years old. What y'all got to realize, what y'all got to understand is this. I told the Lord. I said, Lord, I don't want to. I said, Lord, I know I just came to you. I said, I may not know your ways and all that. But I said, Lord, I want, I want, I want to be able to be used early. I don't want to be used at an old age 
I said, God, I want to accomplish a lot of things early on in my life. And he did just what he did just what I asked him to do. But it came with a sacrifice. Woo, it came with a sacrifice. I gave up sex before marriage. I had to cut off relationships. I had to cut off certain women. Women was my downfall. The Lord had to deliver me from that spirit of lust. I had to separate and cut ties with certain friends. People I knew for 10 plus years. People I knew for 10, for 10 plus years. I had to cut ties with people I knew for 10 plus years. I had to remove certain people out of my life that was toxic. I grew up playing a video game. I had to stop playing my game for a whole year. The brand new 2K came out. Brent, this was in the, this one, the PlayStation 5 just came out. Didn't get, didn't get it at first. Didn't play the game for a whole year. Had to cut off, had to stop watching horror movies. Had to stop watching this, stop watching that. Women in my DM uh, messaging me. Couldn't talk to them because the Lord would convict me about talking to certain women. Because the Lord had a kingdom spouse for me, which was my wife. And the Lord would not let me talk to anybody that was not my kingdom spouse. So you have the permissive will of God, which is when you do what you want to do, but God will allow it. But then you got God's will. See, it's a reason why they talk about the scripture in the Bible says, it's better to marry than to burn with lust. But see, not everybody gets the option. Not everybody gets a choice, especially when you chosen by God. When it came to me, let me tell you what happened. God didn't let me pick. He didn't give me a choice. God was like, this is your spouse. And I fell in love with him. When you, when you ask God to do something specific, he'll do it, but it'll come with a sacrifice. I, I can't tell you how many do. Not one time, not two times, not three times, not four, not five, not six, not seven, not eight, not nine, but ten times. Then I had to do not one, not two, not three, not four, but five Daniel fasts. I think it was six. Daniel fast, 21 days, 30 days. No meat, just fruits and vegetables. I can't tell you how many times I've had to bite my tongue and I'm in a room full of people and I don't like looking like a punk in front of nobody and people disrespect me and I'm supposed to sit there and not say nothing because I'm supposed to show the character of Christ. Because by me trying to look tough, it's a sacrifice that comes with one. It's a sacrifice that comes with being, being wanting to be used by God at an early age. Wanting to be able to accomplish stuff at an early age. By the time I was 23 years old, I came to Christ when I was 22. By the time I turned 23, I'd already had a, a, a huge YouTube channel, 135,000 subscribers. I had just got married. I had just got approved for an apartment. And then I had... I found out my son was being born. All that in the span of a year and a half. All before I turned 24 years old. But y'all don't realize God will do exactly what you ask him to do. If it aligns, if it aligns, if it aligns with his will, he'll do everything that you ask him to do. But everything you ask him to do, he'll do, but he won't do it unless you sacrifice. Because it's a scripture. To whom is given, much is required. To whom is faithful with little, is faithful with much. It's a saying that they always say in the movies. What they say? They get it from the Bible. With great power comes what? Great responsibility. To whom is given, much is required. So when God gives you a lot, he requires a lot out of you. You want God to bless you with a million dollars? God going to require you to give some of that money to the homeless. He going to require you to give some of that money to a church or build a church or do this or do that. But not everybody is going to be okay with that. That's why you need to be very careful what you ask for. Because it's sometimes God will give you something that you're asking for. And you will regret him giving you that because that wasn't for you in the first place. I can give you the perfect example. It happened to me. I was asking God. I'm like, God, open this door up at FedEx. I need some money. He opened up the door. I didn't know what I was doing. I was crashing into people mailboxes. I was hitting signs. I ain't know where to deliver the mail at. And I said, you know what? This ain't for me. And I kept begging God, begging God, begging God. And I'm like, God, just open this door. I need some money. 
See, a lot of y'all struggling financially. You know why the Lord is allowing people to struggle financially? The Lord is allowing people to struggle financially because of this simple thing right here. Not everybody can be trusted with money because the Lord knows that the minute he gives somebody some money, God will never hear from that person again. That's why he always be so careful. That's why sometimes you saying, God, why are you taking so long with my finances? See, I can, look, let me tell you something. I can keep it a book. I've been, I have been asking, even before I dedicated my life to the Lord, I told the Lord, I'm like, Lord, I just want you to bless my finances. But he knew if he blessed my finances, I was not going to follow him wholeheartedly. The Lord gave me this revelation. The Lord gave me this revelation. When it come to me, and it come to everything that I have going on with myself, the Lord allowed me to struggle financially for about two years. I'm still waiting on God to open up a door. And I'm asking God, I'm like, God, what's going on? And he's telling me the reason why he allowed me to struggle is because he's trying to teach me something. He's trying to teach me something. And, and what he's trying to teach me is, again, as the scripture says, I supply all your needs according to Christ Jesus and his riches. God trying to teach us, he don't want us to rely on our job to pay our bills. God wants us to rely on him to provide for us. And you know what that comes with being uncomfortable sometimes. It comes with being uncomfortable sometimes. Trying to figure out where your next meal gonna come from. Trying to figure out, man, I, I want to make sure I got all the bills paid and this and that. And it's like, why can't God just bless me with some money? And it's like, I hear the Lord saying, you ministering to the people. Because it's a lot of y'all on here. Y'all struggle with financial stability. You've been asking God to open up a door. And it's like, I'm, 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 I'm listening to the Lord. And for some of y'all, and let me, let me tell you something. Some of y'all, I see y'all at y'all parents' house. And you've been asking God, some of y'all graduated Y'all graduated from high from uh, college, you got a degree, and you asking God, like, when you gonna open up a door? But the Lord is holding things back because He don't want you out there getting money because He know it'll it'll take your focus off of Him. The Lord is like it's almost like He's saying no. He gonna do it in His timing. The Lord no. Some it's, it look like somebody on here, twenty four years old. You've been trying to get out your parents' house. It's like your parents always talk about they left their house when they was twenty one. And you 24, you feel like, man, I, I want to accomplish greater than my parents. And the Lord says you are. But it's not always about how you start. Ooh, Jesus. It's not always about how you start. It's about how you finish. The Lord says you need to stop comparing your journey to your parents' journey. That's a word for somebody. You need to stop comparing and just focus on what God got you doing. You at home at your parents' house for a reason. God got you there so that you can focus. God got you there so that you can focus on the Lord, so, so that you can focus on your relationship with God. Not trying to hurry up and get out the house and establish yourself. See, and, and even that, you can make an idol out of trying to establish yourself because you're trying to do it yourself. You're trying to do it in your timing. But sometimes God may not necessarily want you to establish yourself by yourself. He may want, you, he may want to put you with a kingdom spouse to establish each other because it's the thing watch this a man's loyalty is tested when he got a lot of money a woman's loyalty is tested when a man ain't got no money the lord says this is for the fellas this is for the dudes what the lord is doing some of y'all dudes out there god is not going to allow you to have a house by yourself god is not going to allow you to be in an apartment by yourself because he know that as soon as he do that for you that spirit of lust going to come in and women going to be coming in and out that house left and right. They're going to be coming in and out of that apartment left and right. It's a reason why God is putting you with your kingdom spouse because you won't have any, you won't have any other choice but to be faithful. God is going to allow y'all to get approved for a place together. Not by yourself. And God not doing this to be mean. Some of y'all want to experience singleness. And be able to travel the world and this and that but the lord says it's not about that it's not about doing what you want to do it's about kingdom work listen y'all want to experience singleness you want to travel the world that's fine but the lord saying no to some people because you chose and that opened up a door to lust it's going to be all types of women trying to talk to you 
And the Lord will not allow you to do any of these things until you meet your kingdom spouse. And y'all prove for y'all y'all get approved for a place together and y'all do things together. Woo! I know this. Watch this. Some of y'all don't want to be a stepdad or a stepmother, but some of y'all, God is gonna put you with a spouse and they got a kid. Some of y'all got that on your list about what you want a spouse. You say, I don't want no kids. But the Lord says that, and see, I gotta say it. The Lord says that y'all, y'all, y'all worried about that being a thorn in your side. I don't want to deal with no disrespectful kids. I don't. But this this the thing. That's a misconception because not all kids is disrespectful. And even if they is, God is trying to work something inside of you to where God is saying, I want you to pray. I want you to fast to get that spirit up out of this child. God is putting you with certain people because God is giving you the power, the anointing to break that generational curse off of that, that child. That child is connected to you. That child may be your, 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 your son or your daughter. And, and you may be that father or that, that mother to that child. Ooh, Jesus. A lot of y'all look at that as a thorn in my side. I don't want it. I don't want to deal with no bad kids. But the Lord says everything in your life is about purpose, not about pleasing yourself, your self-pleasure. Man, that's a, that's a tough word. Sheesh. But again, finances is coming. But they're coming in a way how the Lord wants them to come. The Lord knows that he gives people a lot of money too early in age. He ain't gonna hear from them. You can forget about that. You can forget about it. They ain't gonna. They ain't gonna follow. They ain't gonna follow the Lord. The Lord says, "Stay patient and stay rooted in Christ. Stay firmly rooted in the Lord." That's what I hear the Lord saying. Stay firmly rooted. Stay firmly planted. Stay firmly planted in the Lord Jesus Christ, because God has a plan for your life, even if you don't believe it or not. Even if you don't believe it or not. Even if you don't believe it. But see again. God want everything done his way. If you do anything outside of God's will. That's on you. That's not on the Lord. The Lord says wait on your God ordained spouse. Ooh, Jesus. And I even see what the Lord want me and my wife to start doing. He want us to start doing marriage videos because I know that'll bring a lot of people to to want to understand how is how to what to expect in marriage. I see that. Mm, that's clear as day. I see that. I see that. I see that. I see that clear as day. And I'm gonna be obedient. That's that's what the Lord want. And he been telling me that I forgot. He want us to do that, and it's going to get done. It's going to get done. It just be hard when you got kids, man, because the kids be all over the place. I'm trying to make sure it's quiet, and they keep running all over. They jumping around. But, again, and see, that's an example I'm talking about. People, they, look, let me tell you something. Kids is not easy. It's not easy raising kids. But as long as you fast, you pray, you seek the Lord, so I can give a testimony. The enemy be trying to attack my daughter. The enemy be trying to make her not listen, but the Lord had me fast and pray. And the spirits came right up out of her. It was like an overnight transition. Seemed like right after I prayed, she was a completely different person. And the thing is, it don't always take three, four, five. Let me tell you something. It ain't going to take four, five years for something. Some, for some things, it may will. But when it comes to certain things, you don't have to do all these hard things for God to do something. Sometimes God just wants you to do something simple and just believe and give it to him. A lot of y'all, sometimes y'all saying to y'all self, man, like, that, man, if, if I got to, if God going to do this, I got, I know I got to do a 30 day fast, 40, but God's saying you ain't got to do all that. You probably just got to fast for a couple hours and just expect God to move. You can't expect God to move if you ain't expecting him to move. Woo. You can't expect God to move if you ain't expecting God to move. Because that's like praying without believing. That's like that's like me praying, being like, all right, God, I know you ain't going to do this, but, you know, do this if you could, but I don't think you're going to do it. You can't expect God to move if you don't expect God to move. That's a word for somebody. Boy, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. That's a word for somebody. 
You can't expect God to move if you can't expect God to move. And I know why I keep saying that. That's the Holy Ghost. The Lord want people to be trustworthy. It's one thing for you to be able to trust God, but it's a whole nother thing for God to be able to trust you. See, God, the people that God trusts with money, tell me Ariomi said it. The people that God trusts with a lot of money, it's not people that love God, it's people that fear God. See, you, you can love God, but when you fear God, you fear his commandments, oh, God will take you, he'll take your finances to a whole nother level. You want God to breathe on your finances? Fear God. When you fear God, God will tell you to do something. You will act on that. You will act on that so quick. And by you acting on it, God will breathe on your finances even more because he see how quick you is to obey. Ooh, swift and complete obedience. Swift obedience. And God know being obedient that quick, God knows it's hard for some people. That's why he graces people in certain areas when it comes to certain things like that. He graces people in areas when it comes to certain things like that. Because he just simply wants people to trust. That's all he wants. He just wants people to trust. Y'all get the likes. There should be 250 likes on here. In Jesus' name. Can't expect God to move if you don't expect him to move. Should be 250 likes on here. Y'all get the likes up in Jesus' name, boy. The more y'all like, the more people can see this video when I upload it. In Jesus' name. Again, if you're expecting God to move, you got to expect him to move. Can't expect him not to move. You got to trust. You got to obey. You got to receive the word of the Lord. You got to know that God is who he say he is. You got to trust that God is who we say he a provider. He Jehovah Jireh. He, he not just Jehovah Jireh. He Jehovah Jireh, the provider. And he going to provide everything that you need. Y'all get the likes up in here in Jesus' name. Y'all type in the chat. Get the likes up. You got to trust God with everything that he say. You got to trust God in every aspect of your life. Even if you don't believe, you say, Lord, I don't, Lord, I believe, but help me with my unbelief. That's what you got to say. And God can work with that. But you got to trust. You got to trust the Lord. Is trusting God easy? No. Whoever said, whoever said trusting God or following God was easy? If it was easy, everybody would be following God. Everybody would be seeking out the Lord. But there's a reason why I say many is called, but few is chosen. Everybody called, but very few people are chosen because not everybody is going to accept the call. You can, only be, you can only be chosen if you accept the call. These is gems I'm dropping. And it's not me, it's the Lord. God get all the glory. I don't exalt myself, I exalt Jesus Christ. You can't expect to be chosen if you don't accept the call. Because if you don't accept the task, then you can't be chosen to finish the, to finish the assignment. This is a race that we're running. Everything that you do, you should do it with a purpose. Literally, everything that you do. You wake up, you got to go after them blessings. You got to chase them blessings. But most importantly, you got to seek after the Lord. Yeah, the Lord got blessings for you, but you got to go You got to go get up and get them. You got to go get up and get after it in Jesus' name. You got to trust what the Lord doing in your life. God is not a man that he shall lie. God is not, God is not leaving you up high and dry. You got to trust God, boy. You feel me? You got to trust the Lord. You got to trust God with every word that he say. Where out of the mouth speak the abundance of the heart. You got to you got to trust God. You got to trust him. You got to know who he is. You got to know his ways. You got to say Yahweh, show me your ways. Show me your ways, Lord Jesus. Think about it. Yahweh. What is Yahweh? That, that that's that's God's name. Yahweh. Whose way is it? It's God's way. God want the, God want things done his way, not our way. You know what I'm saying? Yah, these, these is names for God. And why, why does he have so many names? Because there's so many different things that God can do. So many different things God can do. I see a, a red Jeep. And I ain't talking about a Jeep that like, like a square. I'm talking about like the Jeep that look like a, like a truck. Not a pickup truck, but like, you know, like a, kind of like a, one of them Ford trucks. Somebody, it's a woman on here. Uh, whenever you see this, it looked like you got blonde. You dyed your you dyed your braids or your dreads blonde. 
it's a, a red Jeep coming for you. It's a red Jeep coming for you in Jesus' name. Ooh, Jesus. Somebody going to get a golden retriever. I see that. Somebody on here going to get a Maltese, too. I see a dog coming for you. Somebody going to get a Maltese. Somebody on here, the Lord is bringing you kingdom friends. You've been asking the Lord for friends that's, that's focused on God. God is going to bring you kingdom friends. He's going to establish you in his kingdom. God is going to overflow you in Jesus' name. Your, the Lord says that your elevation is here. Your finances is about to flow for certain people. They're about to flow. Some people know, some people yes. The Lord says if he knows for you, receive it. But the Lord says, if you know if it's not for you, the Lord says, speak it out anyway, that it's coming. Whenever the Lord's timing is right. Because God's timing is perfect. His timing is perfect. Because in the kingdom, everything is about timing. Everything is about timing. God is a God of order. Everything is about timing. You got to trust God. You got to know God. You got to know God going to bless you. You got to speak it out. You got to say, I know God going to bless me with something. I just know it. I feel it in my heart. I know God going to bless me with something. I don't know when it's going to be, but I know it's coming. See, for some of y'all, it's going to be real soon. Some of y'all, it's going to be today. By the time I get off this video, I see somebody calling you. You look like you work at a car dealership or something. I see somebody getting promoted. You got to know God is going to bless you. You got to trust that God is going to bless you. Y'all get the likes up. It should be 270 likes on here. Y'all get the likes up. In Jesus' name. Y'all got to know. You got to know God is going to bless you. Regardless of how your situation look, regardless of how your circumstances look, you got to know. You got to know God going to bless you. You got to know. You got to trust God going to bless you. Some of y'all getting promoted. I see something. Let me tell you something. Some of y'all going to get fired and God is going to allow that to happen to put you in a better job. That pay even more money. Even closer to home. So that you can be closer to your family so you can keep ministering to them so that they can see what God blessed you with. So then when they see that, it'll minister to them and they'll believe in Jesus so that they'll get saved. I ain't never gave you no word like this. But the Lord is doing a new thing. God doing something new. God doing something. Ooh, Jesus. It's a prophetic release that's happening. The Lord is releasing. I don't know. I, I, I just see he releasing. He releasing something. And God says, receive what he releases. Everybody lift your hands and just say, Lord, I receive. Type in, I receive. Type in the comments, I receive. Type in the chat, I receive, Lord. I receive what you're saying, Lord Jesus. Say, I receive, Lord God. I receive the blessing. I receive the breakthrough. I receive the promise. Woo, the blessing of Abraham. Woo, Jesus. Say, I receive it, Lord Jesus. I receive everything you got for me. So scripture says God would hold no good thing. But everything he going to give in his perfect time. Y'all do me a favor. For y'all homework, y'all read Ecclesiastes chapter 3. Y'all read that whole thing. Say God said in, the, in people's heart at the perfect time and the blessing of what he want to bless them with. That's for y'all. It's the time to plan. It's the time to pluck up. It's the time to laugh. It's the time to cry. It's the time to mourn. It's the time to joy. Read that. That whole, that whole chapter. Read chapter 3. That's y'all homework for tonight from the Lord, from the Holy Spirit. Y'all do that, boy. God gonna bless y'all. God gonna bless y'all in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you for your words, Lord Jesus. I see a couple of them. Let's see. Justin Crump. Mm. Justin, I see a crown over your head, boy. Ooh. The Lord said, You blessed and highly favored. I heard the Lord say, Prophesied to a couple of people. Lord said, You blessed and highly favored. Mm, ooh, Jesus. I heard kingdom spouse. 
the Lord said that the Lord said elevation is coming. Elevation is coming. Look no further because the Lord says it's already here. The elevation is all. You got to trust. I see you be praying. You be making an attempt to fast. The Lord said, keep going. The Lord said, keep going. He said, keep going. Don't stop. Don't quit. Jesus. Jan Griffin. That's funny. I see a dog. Feel like Lord gonna bless you with a dog. The Lord said elevation coming to you too. The Lord said you gonna see. Woo! The Lord said eyes have not seen, nor ear has heard the things that God has prepared for those that love Him. That's for you. Whatever God about to do in your life is about to be major, because that's a powerful scripture. Eye has not seen, nor ear has heard the thing that God has prepared for those that love Him. I heard that clear as day. Ooh, Jesus. 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 Ooh, Jesus. It should be 350 likes on here. And a mighty. <laughs> Lord said, don't look to the left. Don't look to the right. The Lord said, just know your heavenly father is going to continue to take care of you. Your heavenly father is going to continue to overflow you in Jesus' name. Just know God is going to do exactly what he said he's going to do for you. Lord said not to worry. Lord said only trust. Only believe. Only have faith. Listen to you, Lord. Jervon Murray. Jervon Murray. I heard youth. Hey, bro, you play uh, you play basketball? I'm going to tell you what, I seen a crown over your head. Mm. Hey, you got a street ministry, too. Ooh, Jesus. Hey, you got a street ministry. I seen that on you. I seen a street ministry. I seen a street ministry. <laughs> Man, you got a deliverance ministry, too. Yeah, you got a deliverance ministry, boy. God going to use all that. <laughs> you got a deliverance ministry. God called you to set the captives free. In Jesus' name. God called you to destroy every wicked work of the enemy that there is. That's what I just heard him say. God called you to destroy every wicked work of the enemy that there ever was. My, man, I don't know. I just keep hearing like you got a. Uh, you, I feel like you got a praying grandma boy. Like I, I just, I just feel that on either your mama or your daddy's side. I don't know. Yadi, what's your name? Yadi Brazo Band. What about Kanye and You got a women's ministry. Out of women's ministry. Ooh, God has called you to heal the brokenhearted. You got a heart for the brokenhearted. Women that's been through abuse and this and that. That's what I see. Mm, Jesus. God has called you with a purpose in this life. God has called you with a purpose in this life. And the Lord says you're going to fulfill that purpose because he is the author and finisher of our faith. He is faithful to finish that good work that he started in us. You're going to fulfill that purpose. And it's not going to take long for God to do it. And God is going to use you at a young age. I don't know how old you is. I, I feel like you've been praying to God. You want to accomplish a lot early. You don't want to be old and this and that. God is going to bless that. 
The Lord says it's time for you to step into your calling. You got a, you got a deliverance ministry to that spirit of abuse that's been attacking women in the body. God is going to use you to destroy that, that spirit. Cast that spirit out and call it forth into the dry place to wander. God has called you to set the captives free. Jesus. Freedom is coming in Jesus' name. Ooh, Jesus. Man, look, man. Let me tell y'all something. Every day you wake up, you thank God for another day. You thank the Holy Spirit for another day. You thank God for another day. You thank God for simply waking up. That's what you do. Man, let me tell y'all something. Man, I just pulled up to the crib, boy. Let me explain something to y'all. God is good. All the time and all the time. God is good. All the time. So, that's it, man. If y'all want to sow into my ministry, you can. If you feel led. If not, it's whatever. Y'all know my cash app. Y'all got my PayPal. My cash app is dollar sign J-M-O-N, the number three, the letter Y, 1997. I pay PayPal of Jalen Kobe 1997 at iCloud.com. Appreciate the birthday wishes I see in the chat. God bless y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, y'all proper sign to me. Get ready for bigger doors for you. But I received that in Jesus' name. What? Hey, you know what? And, and, and you know what? Hey, look. Hey, y'all prophesy to me. Feel like Lord said prophesy to me. So look, I'm gonna I'm have my hands raised up, boy. <laughs> if anybody got a word, go ahead and type that word, boy. If anybody got a word for me, I just feel the Lord dropped it in my spirit. He said, tell them people to prophesy. See, there's one thing where you always the one pouring out, pouring out, pouring out, but it feel like you ain't got nobody pouring into you. But my wife, wife, she be pointing to me, but I love her. Uh, thank you. My wife said, happy birthday. Thank you, sweetums. And you have been faithful with few. Now you're plenty as hell. Woo. <laughs> Heck no. Thank you, Jesus. G, you helping lead the way. Shit, I would see that. I'm the OG. Abundance, more increased levels and favor. This is just the beginning. He's going to bless you and Ashley with more. Thank you, Jesus. I'm not a prophet, but I'm praying for your success. But God bless you. <laughs> you are the Joseph of your family. Wow. That's crazy. Y'all know I got 10 siblings. I got... I think four on my mama's side, and then like I think I got like six on my daddy's side, five. And I think I'm the middle child between all that. You will receive a great reward in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Multi billionaire. Woo! Hey, look, go ahead and prophesy. What's the cash at? And the cash app is dollar sign J. So it's J Money 1997, but it's spelled J M O N. The number, the letter Y 1997. So the number, the letter E is replaced with the number three. May the Lord bring it forth all promises God told you this year in Jesus' name. Thank you, Ashley. Love you. Happy birthday. They did. Yay. Yes, I love when you say happy birthday. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it.
Yeah, hey, I look at my wife. We look good, man. <laughs> so, I keep saying basketball and you in the business. Trials, yep. Kept saying. Keep saying the basketball. Basketball, 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 basketball. My birthday is 929 like your wife. Somebody say you're pretty. Thanks. So, let's do that. Sleep. But yeah, man. Somebody said you humble too. Mommy. So. Mommy, turtle. So Mommy. yeah, man. I'm about. You know. I'm Mr. I, uh, man, look. And stuff. I appreciate y'all, man. Like I said, man. That's uh. God gonna put me on a bigger platform. I receive. Where's so, Judah? Yeah, I receive all that, boy. You know what I'm saying. So. Ha! <laughs> I got a screenshot. Season of wilderness is over and the devourer will devour no more. Thank you, Jesus. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. I'm gonna be praying for all y'all, man. Shaylon Houston, Lord, I pray for overflow. I pray, Lord God, for clarity and acceleration. I see Sonic the Hedgehog. Lord gonna accelerate you in this season. The anointing will increase. For my son to hear and speak. Lord, I pray for born to worship. I pray, Lord God, you remove that dumb and deaf spirit, and I command that spirit to flee in Jesus' name. Do me a favor. You lay hands on your son. Get anointed oil. Pray over the oil. Pray over your son. Cast that spirit out in Jesus' name. So, 12 children for 12 tribes of Israel. That's a lot of kids, man. You moving into a bigger space, you're gonna need it. Yeah, you ain't lying about this. Hey, God, hey viewers, you're gonna see Judah. Judah. It's a, it's David, I mean Judah. What's up, it's boy? Judah from the Bible, but he's alive. Hey, take a minute, I'm about to get up. So like I said, boy, God bless y'all, boy. Like I said, if y'all, again, if y'all want bless us, the, the PayPal is Jalen Kobe 1997 at iCloud.com. Then the Cash App is dollar sign J M O N, the number three letter Y, 1997. God bless y'all in Jesus' name.